always alerting, always tracking. This is Next Weather. And it's still hot and muggy all across South Florida. Not really any relief for us here in the, you know, other areas, inland rain, right? right? Still got those triple digits <laughs> yeah. going, uh, Ivan, don't we? Yeah, we do. And they're going to keep going and going until we can get uh, our thunderstorms back in the afternoon. And uh, that will start happening as we head closer to the week. And I think they'll be able to fire enough across the metros here to keep things down as far as the temperatures. That's the only thing that saves us this time of year is uh, the wet weather. Otherwise, uh, we'd be seeing these numbers day in and day out. Well, we have because of the lack of storms. Look at this just this line of just clear blue skies to the east. Everything pushed off to the north and west, and they have been getting pounded across southwestern part of Florida. Absolutely, there with flood advisories, severe thunderstorms. Uh, you get the idea. But for us, this is uh, the story. Temperatures still in the 100s. This is the way it feels like. It's the way it's been feeling like every single day. But as far as the actual numbers. Typically don't show you calendars here, but I think this warrants it, right? Because of what we've done in uh, the last uh, few days here uh, since the 12th, right? We've hit temperatures that are above average for this time of year. That's about 90, 91. We had those twin days of 96 degree days. Those were back on 17th and 18th. When you put this all together, basically we're talking about the second hottest. It's not even done. The second hottest August in history since we've been keeping uh, numbers well back uh, a long time ago. There you see the third, fourth, and fifth, and the fifth wasn't that long ago. Kind of see the trend there uh, this uh, century with the exception of uh, number four and 87. So there we are. We may make it to the number one spot. We still have about six days to go right before that happens. So number two in uh, 22 here, second hottest August. If you thought it was, it has been, and historically so. All right, so let's see if we can make some rain here. Next two days, still looking at incoming showers here through the morning hours. But then by the afternoon, I think we have a better shot. Again, we haven't been able to show this in a while as far as the model pinpointing at least thunderstorms closer to our metros here. Maybe not the beaches exactly, but I think we'll be able to get some storms in here and our coverage are going up a little bit here. But once these fire, I mean, they're booking west. They're heading out of here. And so that's our chance there between 2 and 4 o'clock as a sea breeze comes in, be able to get some of those storms going through the afternoon. And otherwise, the rain coverage, uh, I think, remains rather low, certainly for this time of year. So, yes, tomorrow will be another day with uh, temperatures likely above average after this time of year. And we're going to spend several hours with temps uh, into the 100s. But the rain chances do go up as we have more moisture coming in. And I think that's going to allow for at least thunderstorms to develop. But there you see low 90s. It'll feel like 100 plus each and every afternoon. So really no major relief in sight except for better rain chances coming up as we head into Sunday and early next week. As far as our overnight temperatures, oh, it's a struggle. And most nights we don't make it below 80 degrees.